so yeah this was vlogmas day 21 <laughs> I play too much, honestly. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, hey, welcome. It's me, Cozy. Um, really at this point, um, I need to welcome myself back to the channel because you guys, I have been gone. I have been missing, but actually I haven't been gone because I actually recorded a lot of things, but don't nobody got time to edit. So yeah, they're just sitting in my camera. But anyways, today what we are going to be talking about is um, the pros and cons of um, self retying your hair. As you all know, I retied my hair for the first time like um, some months ago. And I said I was gonna do this video and like I said, it's been months and I haven't done it. So here we are today. Um, yeah, today we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of self retying your hair, like I already said. <laughs> we're gonna start off with the cons because you know, of course, we all know the main number one con is that it takes time. When I say it takes time, as in hours, and I'm told that I didn't take as long as some people did or do. So like the fact that it took me 13 hours, I can't imagine. Like it takes time, like the, <sighs> the frustration, just thinking about it. Um, Like it's a chore. That's like, it's a chore. That's the con, is that it becomes a chore. It's tedious. Um, you really have to like schedule out your entire day or couple days if you're splitting it up over two days like I did. Um, you have to make sure you um, are undistracted or like, you know, you have time to like make sure that your parts are in order. So you have to like make sure no one's like around you or like, Basically, you got to make sure you have the time to do it and do it well. Like, it's one thing to say you have the time and you're doing it, but you got to like go back and recheck your work and make sure your grade is intact. And, you know, it's just that alone. Rechecking takes time. Um, if you combine any, splitting them apart takes time. Like, it's just all so tedious. That is the major number one con. The time. It is tedious. Another con is, um, it's painful. Like, to keep your hands up by your head for that many hours. And then your, your fingers, everything. It's just, that's another con. It's stressful. It's stressful. It's, it's not easy. Like appreciate, appreciate your locticians, your sister locks consultants, because it's not easy. I don't know how, I always tell my consultant, I don't know how she does that all day, every day and be on her feet. Like me doing it just for myself was too much. So yeah, those are the main cons. Um, the fact that retying your hair goes from, um, at least when I go, it goes from like a relaxing, chill day. Cause you know, when you go to your consultant, you just go in a chair, you chill. She always has like some good movies or shows for us to watch. It's kind of like a self care moment when you actually go to your appointments. Um, yeah, it changes from that into a chore when you retie your hair by yourself. And it changes from simple three hours to a whole day when you retie your hair by yourself. So those are the main cons. And now we are going to talk about the pros. Um, so like you all may know, especially if you watched my, um, my video that I feel like a lot of people still watch till today. Like I've been gone and people still been commenting on it. But um, if you watch my video about uh, how, um, 
I think I made a mistake on getting sister locks because of the cost just for the trade name. But um, yeah, so the pro is that you save money, which of course is why I wanted to do it by myself is to save money. So that's a, I mean, when you have that pro, what other pros do you really need? I'll wait. No, but um, honestly, saving money is a huge factor. Um, that money adds up. The money you pay like every six to eight weeks adds up really quick. So if you can retie your hair, um, yeah, you you save a lot of money that, you know, money that could be going elsewhere. Um, along with that, another pro is that I feel like by um, self-retying my hair, um, this may just be me, but I actually like learned my hair more. Like I learned where my thinning um, locks were. I learned um, like where my mature locks were. I kind of just learned how my hair was more. So I feel like by, by self-retiring my hair um, and having my hands actually in my hair on each and every individual lock, I was able to like learn my hair to the point where when I went back to my appointment, I was like, oh, can you do this to this lock or, you know, um, fix this lock, you know, because you actually know what's going on in your head more. But um, that may just be me because I'm like a really low maintenance type of gal. So I'm never really in my hair. I was never in my hair until I did my hair at that time. Um, yeah, I really just wake up, go. Like, I don't do nothing extra. I don't play around in my hair. I don't, mm, mm So this was the like first real time where I was able to like see my hair for what it was and understand what she tells me too. Cause she'll tell me like, oh, this area of your hair needs this. This area of your hair needs that. Um, concentrate on this area of your hair when you wash and stuff like that. When I self-retied my own hair, I was able to actually understand and get what she was talking about. Like now to the point where we're on the same page and you know, yeah, that's a pro. You learn your hair, you learn what's going on. Um, and then, like I said, the cost, you eventually save money. But, um, yeah, as you can see. <laughs> Low key, the cons. I mean, there's more cons than pros, but the main pro that you save money is like a game changer. Um, as you all may know by my last video, I have been going back to my sister locks consultant just because of the time. Like y'all know I have a daughter um, that I'm also in school, like grad school. So the time, like to carve out time in your day <sighs> to get that done, it's just, it's a lot. So for me at this point, it's just easier to um, schedule my appointments and go. But even then, like I always say, she's far. She's an hour away from me, like an hour and a half really away from me. So it takes three hours driving alone. So honestly, mm, I guess it really just depends on you. What do you want to do? What's best for you? What works out for you? What can you handle? Um, my ideal world would be to um, have somebody near me, like a friend or somebody who learned to self-retire their hair. Um, or even if they don't have locks, basically just have a friend who could learn to do it so that they could do my hair for me, for the low. <laughs> that would be my ideal thing. Or if someone has sister locks near me, um, if they could learn, they could do my hair, then I could do their hair. That would be an easy trade-off. I think it would be easier to do someone else's hair than to be up here doing this all day. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, comment down below um, any questions you may have for me. Comment down below what you would like to see from me. Um, comment something, y'all. Let me know what's up. Let me know if you have any tips for me to shorten my um, self ties because then maybe I'll go back to doing it myself. Um, I don't know, it was just a lot. 
it wasn't hard. It's just a lot of time Whew, that I don't have. But um, yeah, comment something down below. Tips, questions, and like, comment, and subscribe. Do what you got to do. Come and join the crew. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.